Hello and welcome to One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sean Brigby, and it's Monday, and it's time for Blast Off Monday. And this Monday, we got another one of these 2014 15 NHL Hockey OPG blaster boxes that I've opened up a few before, I think, on the channel. Uh, but if you missed any of those or any previous Blast Off Monday videos, head up there, check them out while you're at it. Head on down, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, the thumbs up, like the video, hit the share button, share this with everyone you know. Head on down in the comments, tell me if you've ever opened up any 2014 15 OPG hockey. Have you ever got one of those high numbered, like super short prints? Because I was trying to, I was. I was going back, looking at the checklist, kind of reminding myself what exactly we're looking for in here. And I keep on seeing these super high number checklists, but it's or super high number uh, short prints, but I don't see much information about them. So I don't even know if you get them in blasters or they're just like hobby exclusives or what. Um, but they're also, it's, I guess, I mean, they're pretty rare, but there's no like actual like information that I can, at least I can find about it. I'm doing a real quick short, uh, um, quick look. But anyways, also check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, other social media, as well as my eBay, where I, there may or may not be anything up for sale. Anyways, check it out. Uh, save me as a seller anyways, and then come back later on when there is. All right. So what are we looking for in this box? We got six cards per pack, 14 packs per box. So there's lots of packs to go through. There's all the information on stuff. Like there are the high numbered short prints, but then there's the super short prints that are like super high number. Everything over 600. There's like I think it's only like 18 cards or something like that. But those are the ones that we really would be looking for. But also there's possibilities of um, uh, autographs. I mean, the super, the marquee rookies and legends are technically sort of short printed. But you get one in every two packs. So they're not like super rare. But And there's other cool stuff that we can be looking for. Uh, big rookies we're looking for are Johnny Grudeau and uh, Kuznetsov. Those are kind of the big ones that I noticed. There's others, some decent ones as well. The marquee legends are also cool if you get the right legends, I suppose. But, um, you know, there's all sorts of retro and whatever uh, parallels stuff as well. So hopefully we get some stuff, cool stuff in this box. Hopefully maybe we'll get lucky and get like an autograph or something. Or one of those super short printed high numbers. Got John Tavares kicking things off. So not a bad name to start things off. Chris, Chris Kunitz. Uh, Chris Russell, Logan Couture, Eric Hula, and our first marquee rookie is going to be Cedric Paquette. So not exactly who we're looking for as our first marquee rookie, but, you know, got to start somewhere, I guess. We've got Ryan O'Reilly, and Anton Kubin, Kubidin, uh Scotty Upshaw, Corey Perry, Alexander Burrows, and our marquee legend is going to be Chris Yeiserman. Now I believe believe that's the retro or maybe that's just what they look like i'm not 100 sure but we'll figure it out as we go along i guess because i know there's the retros which i think are have i don't know i'm not sure so we'll have to see what the next marquee legend look like and then compare it to i don't know uh andreg pavelek uh, Mark Sheffley, uh, Nikolai Kumanin, Colin Gran uh, Greening. We got a, what are these called? The Rainbow Foil something. I don't remember what they're called. Something Foil. The Foil um, of Carl Alsner. So, all right, here's what the Marquee Reds and Norma look like, Scotty Bowman. Um, so, yeah, that would be the retro Marquee Legend with the Eisenman. That answers that question, which I thought. I've opened up a decent amount of this stuff before, so I kind of like sort of figured it out. Um, but anyways, next pack, if I can get it open. We got Kyle Turris, Damian Brunier, uh, Sergey Gonchar, Roberto Luongo, and we got a Ron Francis. Now this is a sticker. Yes, the sticker. And then our retro Mar Marek Zidlicki is our first regular retro card, I guess. All right, next pack. Got Nick Letty, Yannick Hansen, Bobby Ryan, uh, Rob Scuduri, uh, Adam McQuaid, and our marquee rookie is Joe Whitney. All right, moving right along. 
Got Nick uh, Bugstad, Anze Kopitar, Sean, John, Sheb John Sebastian Jaguer, Thomas to Tartar, Blake Wheeler, and Drew Stafford is a next retro. All right. So I feel like you either get like a retro or a legend or a rookie in each pack, right? Something like that. Thomas Hickey, uh, Patrick Berglund, Zach Cassian, uh, Vladimir Sabotka, Matthew Perot, and our marquee legend is Eric Lindras. We got Alexi Emelin, Marion Hosa, Marcus Johansson, Craig Anderson, Justin Fontaine, and Retro of a PA uh, Parent Parento? Is that you? Parento? Something like that. Yeah, so I mean that seems like you get yeah, one of those three in each box. Um Unless it's a combination, like the retro legend. Uh, anti anti -nimian, niminen Thomas Vanek, Brandon Saad, Mike Smith, Corey uh, Connarcher, and Brian Leach is our marquee legend. All right, Anton Pelov, Phil Kessel, Calvin Dehan, Roman Yushi, James Reimer, and a retro of Nino Niederreiter. All right, next pack. Good Joe Thornton, David Backus, uh, Fedor Tutin, Lee Stempniak. Um, got another foil. I want to say they're called Rainbow, but I don't remember, and they don't say on them. Uh, Michael Camilleri and Adam Payroll is our marquee rookie. Let me look real quick to see what those are called. Yeah, Rainbow Parallel. Yeah, see? I thought that's what they were called. <clears throat> we got Boone Jenner, Zach Smith, Sean Mateus, Corey Schneider, another sticker of Tuco Rask. And a uh, retro of Dennis Weidman. All right, now our final two packs. We haven't got anything crazy yet, but um, hopefully that changes. Paul Martin, Ryan Miller, Brooks Orpik, Eric uh, Goodbranson, Mark Stewart, and our marquee legend is going to be Grant Fuhr. We're out of the final pack. Uh, hopefully we get some last pack mojo, magic, miracle, chicanery, wizardry, shenanigans, whatever else you want to call it. Hopefully we get something really, really cool in this last pack. If I can open the last pack without breaking everything. There we go. Got Matt Barkowski, uh, Agevni Nabakov, Marcus Foligno, uh, Johnny Boychek, Brian Elliott and Daniel Sedin Retro is our final card. So nothing crazy as I almost knocked the camera over. I mean, we got a, some cool legends, I guess, and a few handful of rookies. I mean, I guess that Yeiserman uh, Retro Legend, Mar Marky, Marky Legend Retro, uh, is probably the best card, I would say. I mean, there's not a ton of competition for best card here, but let me know in the comments what you think is the best card out of this box. Um, yeah, and that's going to do it for today. Come back next week for another Blast Off Monday, but come back every day. I have videos posted every day, sometimes multiple day, like later on today. I'll have a Mail Time Monday video, or at least I should. Getting to that weird point where I don't have a ton of packages any coming in as much as I used to, so I don't I haven't had the videos like done for like long in advance like I normally do. So... I think I'm past the point where I'm not, I'm beyond recording the blast off videos before I am 
the mail time videos. But I don't know, whatever. I mean, hopefully there is. So come back later on today. If not, I apologize and come back tomorrow for another video. Just hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, get a little notification every time a video is up and ready to watch. Come over, watch it, like it, share, comment, and all that fun stuff. Keywords, it's fun. Just have fun in the channel, open up cards, talking sports, talking hockey, all that good stuff. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun. Talk next time. Bye.